welcome to a cooking video. I went to a business expo last week and I accidentally got signed up for HelloFresh. He offered me a free wooden spoon. Turns out it wasn't quite free. But I thought because we see so many sponsorships for it on YouTube, I'm actually going to see how good it is. What I've been given is three meals for two people each, which, because I'm, I'm one man, that's six meals. That's a week worth of dinners. 20 quid. Today we're going to be cooking the Thai style pork rice bowl, which is meant to take about 30 to 35 minutes. The way these things arrive is that you get the meat separately and everything that doesn't need to be refrigerated to put in a bag. So we should have an etch, etch, an an echelon shallot. I believe this is soy sauce. We've got ketchup manise. We've got rice and we've got mange tops. That's French for eat me. Oh, that's not all. We've also got a red chili and we've got more ketchup manise. So I don't normally drink and I've had a couple drinks. Doesn't matter. Before we start, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to make jelly. This isn't part of HelloFresh, I just like jelly. Now the first step is cook the rice. I've already done that. It's already on because I am prepared. I need to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. That seems unnecessary. Just, just. Do that. Half peel and chop the shallot into small pieces. Half peel and chop it. Okay, half peel chop. So the shallot. I know this from the impossible. Oh. Oh, this is the first thing I've undressed in ages. What can I say? Just call me Ramsey. I've not exactly halved it, but you know what? That's okay. Half is relative. They want to chop it into small pieces. Again, small is relative. Trust me, I know. I'm not threatening you with it, I'm just, I'm just, it's because I need to, trust me, I know. As far as I'm aware, a shallot is just a, a funny shaped onion, which just goes to show, you know. Sometimes I really miss her. You know, HelloFresh don't even do meals for one, it's just like, yes, you know, she left you for another man. Could have been worse. Had it before, but she left me for another woman. Peel and grate the garlic. Because, of course, just more washing up is great. The whole garlic. Oh, the shallots made me cry. So I just need to peel it and grate it. I don't need to chop it. Grater. That's not going great. I should do it here. Or this one, maybe. There's so many choices. Well, that's not going great. My fingers are sticky. You know what? I think I'm just going to chop it. Fuck me, that took a while. But finally, we're onto the chilli, which we need to cut lengthways. And then finally, lengthways, and then finally. I really should invest in a garlic press. 100 likes and I will get a garlic press. God, it's a lot of seeds. Be very careful with your eyes, young man. Got Carolina Reaper seed in my eye once. Um, we don't talk about that. That was much easier, you see. Finally, we have the mange tout, which I just need to Half them. Always. There's a lot of them. I'm gonna get another board. Oh yes. Oh yes. This takes me back to when I was free and we grew these in the garden and we've done marriage or whatever. It's a joke. I was never free. Here are our prepared ingredients. Next up, we want to put them in a pan. The rice seems to have boiled. I will remove it from the stove. Pop pan on stove, turn on, put oil in. So now we want to put the mange twat in the frying pan. Yes, even that one. That's hot, out. Then we stir fry them until they are done. Then we get the mange twat and we put them on the plate with one hand, with two hands, the very, very oily mange twats. Then stop and put it back on the heat. But this time with the mints, I'm doing really bad at that exploded everywhere then. Blood's hard to clean. I've heard, I've heard. Oh, get out of my bucket. Oh, oh. No, 
Now we have to break it up using the spoon. It looks raw enough because it is. It doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to add pepper. Look at this skill. Oh my God. Seasoning is a must. This is meant to be two portions of pork. What the? Oh, it's hot. Once it is all brown, we add this. This could go very badly. Look at this artistic man with the cinematography. I miss the pan. Bollocks. I'm going to do something that doesn't say on the recipe, which kind of goes against the whole point of the video, but it's an idea, and I like ideas. I'm going to put some Philadelphia in here. Oh, that's a bit more than I wanted. Oh. Don't do that if you've been handling raw meat. It's just because I handle raw meat every damn day. Because I work in a kitchen. Now, as the recipe says, we bring back the monster. Get in there, you fat fuck. Then we have the sauces. Ketchup. Oh, it's black. Soy sauce. Oh, it's black. Some more ketchup. Oh, it even smells like her. Fucking sweaty and awful. And finally, I'm going to add some fresh basil. Not because it says to, but just because I've got it and I kind of need to, you know, use it. Get in there, you fat fuck. And I'm also going to add a tiny splash of water. Wow. And once it's all hot, we can take it off the op and we can plate it up. And just like that, we have food. Oh. I think I undercooked the mange twelves. But other than that, wow. Okay, so I'm finished. Why am I recording like this? I've just finished, and that was that was good. I'm I'm not gonna you know orgasm over it, but I liked it a lot. It's nothing amazing, but it, it was good. I'm gonna give that a solid six and a half. Let's see if my jelly's set. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Bollocks. So initially I was gonna show me making and eating all three meals in this video, but I feel like you get the gist with the first one. This was all recorded now about four months ago. Since then, I went on with HelloFresh for three and a half of those months. I only recently stopped. That was mainly due to after you've been there for a while, you get less discounts and stuff off. And I kind of got tired of the same palette all the time. And even though you can change your meals, it can cost extra to get different meals. It's definitely good for convenience. If I get super busy again, I am likely to go back on it where I don't have to plan meals or shop and I can just make them. But since it's summer and I do have time now, I can sort of branch out and make whatever I want, whatever I feel like on the day. It is also good to get you into healthy eating habits. Because now when I think of meals, I'm automatically thinking of more vegetables I can put in. And I keep all the recipes too, so if I ever want to make any of them myself again, I can. Uh, it helps with waste, you never have to throw food away. One thing I did find out about a month in is that sometimes they do put items that need to be refrigerated in the brown bags. Uh, and since it never told me that anywhere and I never knew that had some items go off. In some more advanced recipes as well, you need things that aren't in there, such as honey and sugar. And I typically didn't have honey and sugar in the house, so I'd have to go out and buy these just for this. I've still got a bag of sugar now that I use for about three recipes. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you are busy, like I say, I do recommend it. Just be aware that it can get a little bit repetitive and that the prices can go up. But overall, do I think it's a scam? Absolutely not. It does what it says. Would it be cheaper to go out and buy all the ingredients yourself? Yes. But then you have to figure out what you're going to do with the rest of the peppers or the chicken or the beef. All this stuff comes perfectly portioned for you. And it's that convenience versus cost kind of idea. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Why was I shirtless when I ate? I, I'm not sure. Damn. So that's how the LGBT tastes.